Hello and welcome back. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a, uh, another section of notes here. We're going to do 10.8, and this is going to be division of polynomials. Okay, so our objectives today, we want to divide a polynomial by a monomial. Okay, um, so we're going to start out with some uh, simple rules that's going to help us. But the one thing I do want you to remember is that the coefficients are divided, but the exponents are subtracted. Okay. So I'm going to go through some of these rules here and just kind of jump into these examples um, on how to do these. So let's go take a, take a look at our first one. Uh, the first one that I have is 10x squared divided by 2x. Now what I'm going to do, remember, I'm going to divide my coefficients, my numbers in front of my variable, and then I'm going to subtract my exponents, and this is an exponent of 1 here. Okay, so what I have um, is I'm going to look at these separately. Okay, I'm going to look at 10 divided by 2. Now what that is, all right, and I'm going to write that out as 10 over 2, and I'm going to multiply that. I'm just kind of separating these by multiplication by my variables, which is going to be x squared divided by x. So I'm going to do that as x squared over x to the first. So when I simplify my numbers, 10 divided by 2 is really going to be 5. Okay, and then what I have over here on this part is I've got x squared divided by x to the first. So this is going to be changed to, uh, and let me multiply this by uh, x to the 2 minus 1 power. Okay, so as a result, this is going to just end up giving me 5 times x to the first, or just give me 5x. Okay, and so that's kind of the idea. All right, so we're just dividing our numbers, and then we're simplifying our uh, variables with exponents, okay? So now let's look here. Okay, on this one, um, I'm going to kind of rewrite this one uh, and put a 1 up here because we don't have a number out there. And what this is going to give me, okay, I'm going to look at my numbers first. This is really the same thing as writing 1 third times x to the ninth divided by x squared, okay? And so if I do this one, okay, 1 divided by 3, I can't simplify that anymore, okay? They don't have a common number that can divide them. So I'm just going to write this as 1 third, okay, and then times x to the 9 minus 2 power, all right? So what that's just going to give me here is going to give me, um, this is going to give me one-third times x to the seventh power. Okay, now when I'm multiplying these together and I want to put it all together, uh, what I'm really doing here is I'm going to put this over one, and I'm going to multiply across. And so I've got one times x to the seventh, and that's just going to give me x to the seventh over three times one, which is just three, and that's my answer. Okay, so you don't have to go through all of these steps. I'm trying to show you that, you know, all the different rules that I'm doing. Uh, if I were doing this, you know, I would just notice that I have a 1 up here, I have a 3 down here, and I'm just going to simplify this, okay, x to the ninth over x squared. And I would just kind of sit here and go, okay, I've got x to the 9 minus 2, that's going to give me x to the 7th, and we're going to keep that over 3. All right, so kind of there are ways to do this. Okay, if you have ways to do it in your head and ways to kind of think about it and you're always getting the right answer, do it that way. But if you need to show all your work to make sure you get the right answer, then do that. Okay, all right, let's take a look over here. <coughs> now on this one, okay, I can divide out my numbers. All right, so I've got uh, negative 18 over 3, and then I've got x to the 10th over x cubed. So negative 18 over 3 that's going to simplify down to negative 6, okay? And then I've got x to the uh, 10 minus 3 power, so that's just going to give me, in the end, negative 6 times x to the 7th power, and that's it, okay? All right, let's take a look at the next one. Now, I've got a bunch of different variables here. I've got numbers. I've got 42 divided by negative 3. I've got a's, and I've got b's, all right? So... We're going to, let me rewrite all this stuff out so it kind of looks nice and neat, but I've got 42 divided by negative 3 times uh, a squared divided by a, 
times uh, b to the fifth divided by b squared. Okay, if I take if I take forty two divided by negative three, that's going to give me negative fourteen. Okay, so this is going to simplify to negative fourteen. Okay, the next one is a uh, a to the sec two minus one power. Okay, and the b part is going to be b to the five minus two power. So now this is going to give me in the end um, negative fourteen. Uh, a to the first, and then times b cubed, and that's it. Now, I don't have to write a to the first. I can just write negative 14a b cubed and just leave it at that, okay? And that's that. All right, so those are just dividing monomials, okay? Um, and we need to know how to do this in order to kind of continue down into these problems, okay? All right, so now what I'm going to do is... Um, is this. Uh, remember when we added fractions with a common denominator. Okay, so if I divide a polynomial, something a little bit bigger divided by a monomial, I need to think about fractions first. Okay, now let's just think about this. Um, you know, the first thing I want to look at is something like, say, 86 divided by 2. Okay, the first thing I do to check, when, when if you want to check your division, you can always check by multiplying, okay? And if I were to do 2 times 43, that should give me 86. So if you take your uh, divisor um, and multiply it by your quotient, okay, which is what I'm doing here and here, you should get your dividend, okay? That's what that's called, the 86. So you take your denominator, okay, multiply it by your quotient, and you should get your numerator. All right, now the other thing I want you to remember about um, fractions is this. Remember when we add fractions, let's say I'm going to take one-fifth plus three-fifths, okay? Now what I did earlier in the semester was I said, okay, if I have a common denominator here, I can write this as one common denominator and then add my numerators, okay? and then that would end up giving me four-fifths, okay, as a result. What I'm going to do is this, okay? You're going to be given a fraction. You're going to be given a fraction, and, um, and let's say you're going to be given, like, say something like this, 1 plus 3 over 5. What I want you guys to be able to do is to rewrite this as 1 over 5, plus 3 over 5, okay? So we need to be able to rewrite in order to answer these next few questions, okay? So what I want to do is I'm going to use that same idea to simplify and divide these out, okay? So on this first example, uh, and let me rewrite it this way. Let me rewrite it as 9x to the 8th plus 12x to the 6th, and I'm going to divide that entire thing by 3x squared. Now what you have here is you have a fraction, okay? Now you have, you know, polynomials within that fraction, okay? But essentially this is the same idea as this, okay? Two things are being added and then divided by a common number, okay? So what I want to do in order to simplify this and to divide, I want to rewrite this as such, okay? I want to rewrite this as 9x to the 8th divided by 3x squared plus 12x to the 6th divided by 3x squared. Now, the reason why I can do that is because of this up here, all right? If I, have a com if I add two fractions with a common denominator, just like I did here, I can write that all as one fraction having a common denominator, okay? Now... In order to simplify these, okay, what I have to do is I have to kind of go backwards and I have to rewrite this. So what we're given is this type of fraction here where you have a common denominator and we're going to separate it into two different fractions with common denominators. And what I can do here is I can then simplify each of these fractions, okay? So first things first, okay, I'm going to look for my number, which is 9 over 3, 
okay? Um, and let me draw that a little bit better. Okay, and then I've got my variables, x to the eighth over x squared. Now, 9 divided by 3 is 3. Okay, the next one is just going to be times x to the 8 minus 2 power. All right, and we'll simplify that here in a second. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is simplify this here. So 12 divided by 3 is going to give me 4. And then if I take x to the 6th over x squared, it's going to be x to the 6 minus 2 power. All right? And so what I can do here is I can do... Um, all right, so I've got... Let me do this as 3 times x to the 6th plus 4 times x to the 4th. And this is my answer. Okay? And I've simplified that. Now what I could do is I could check. Okay? I could take my divisor here, okay, 3x squared, and I could multiply that by my quotient, all right, and that's going to be um, 3x to the 6th plus 4x to the 4th. Now, if I multiply the stuff out, okay, then I'm going to end up getting, uh, as, as a result, uh, 3 times 3 is 9, x to the 8th power, plus 3 times 4 is 12, x squared times x to the 4th is x to the 6th. And that was my numerator up here. Okay, so when you do this division, whenever you divide polynomials, you can check if you're doing it correctly. Okay, all right, now let's take a look at these last few, all right, um, and let me just kind of go through how I do them. All right, so when I do this problem, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite it as 28x to the 7th plus 32x to the 5th divided by my common denominator 4x cubed. Okay, now my next step here is going to be uh, 28x to the 7th divided by 4x cubed plus 32x to the 5th divided by 4x cubed. Okay, so I'm going to simplify my numbers uh, first and then my variable second. So this is just going to give me uh, 28 divided by 4 is 7. And then I've got x to the 7th over x cubed is going to give me x to the 7 minus 3 power. Okay. Add that to 34, 32 over 4, which is going to give me uh, 8. And then times of x to the 5th over x cubed, so x to the 5 minus 3 power. So my answer that I would get is going to be 7x to the 4th plus 8x squared, and that's it. That's my answer. Okay. Now we can check, all right, but I'm not going to go through all that. I'm just going to uh, do the last one, and then we'll end the video. Okay, so on this last one, all right, um, I'm going to rewrite this as 10 a to the fifth, b to the fourth, minus 2a cubed b squared, plus 6a squared b, divided by negative 2a squared b. All right, now when I have this, okay, um, I'm going to rewrite this. I've got 10a to the fifth, b to the fourth, over negative 2a squared b, okay? Make sure that, yeah, okay. Um, and then I'm going to do minus 2a cubed over b squared divided by negative 2a squared b. Uh, and then plus 2a, I'm sorry, plus 6a squared b over 2a squared b. All right. So now, all right, I've got two, 10 divided by negative 2. Okay, that's going to give me negative 5. All right, and then I've got a to the fifth over a squared, so I've got a to the five minus two power, and then I've got b to the fourth over b to the first, so this is b to the four minus one power, okay? Now, on this part, I've got a negative divided by a negative, so this is going to turn into a positive, all right? And if I take two divided by two, that's going to give me just one, okay? So I'm just going to put a one here. Uh, and then times, on um, this part I've got a cubed over a squared, 
So this is a to the 3 minus 2 power. And then I've got b squared over b. So this is going to give me b to the 2 minus 1 power. All right. Let's keep going. I know this is tedious. All right. Um, on this part, I've got 6 divided by 2, which is going to give me 3. Um, and then I've got a squared over a squared. So this so that's just going to give me a value of 1 when I take something and divide it by itself. And the same thing over here with b over b. b divided by b is just going to give me 1 as well, because something divided by itself is 1. Okay, so when I simplify this, all right, what I'm going to get as an answer is negative 5 times a cubed times b cubed plus then a times b and then plus 3, and that's my answer, okay? So uh, we're using a lot of things that we've learned before, okay? Um, and I want you guys to go ahead and get started on the homework, and we'll see you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.